Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We vlog every day, so if you like this video, oh, I have an alarm on my phone going off. Um, please come back tomorrow. Peter is heating up our dinner, a little bit of leftovers from last night and a little bit of new stuff. And I am doing a little bit more editing before the weekend begins. Check out my ACS outfit. This is all for a little bit of a little fundraising, like testimonial video that ACS asked for me to, to do. That they're sending out videos all next week. It's a kickoff, virtual kickoff for fundraising for Chicago Marathon for the whole ACS team. So my friend Jessica asked me for a little testimonial on fit how the Facebook fundraising tool works. I'm gonna get out of this and get into the outfit I was wearing before while I get dinner ready. And there it is, some easy leftover dinner. Some refried beans, some rice, there's some lemon zest on that rice, and then two little tacos like we had yesterday with the chutney and bean mix and everything. She's waiting for some rice. She loves brown rice. What the heck? The second we get outside, it starts raining. We were gonna go on a nice stroll. I mean, we still can, but you're not a big fan of rain. See, it's getting in your coat. Oh, man. Should we try it later? She's stuck. She will not walk. I think I have to pick her up. But she doesn't want to go anywhere. So she hits the rain, and we're getting rained on, silly. And just like that, it was... 10 o'clock and our day took a turn that we didn't expect. I kept on working and Peter took a rest. <laughs> no, Sarah kept working and Peter got moody. Yeah, so I don't know what happened to me mentally. I feel like I was in a good place today. And then around cooking dinner time, it just like nosedived and I got like <sighs> gloomy and I ended up rest, like Sarah said, like I did end up taking like a rest and ended up napping, but it turned into just being like pouty and Sarah explained it. She's like, you know, these days the quarantine can get to you and we have been so good. I wonder if it's like because we went out yesterday, mm -hmm. it like lit that flame in me again of like wanting to be going and going all the time. And so then I just got pouty and moped for four hours. Also, we had plans tonight that got canceled because of work. Yeah. We had every intention of going to a drive-in in Lakeland with Chelsea and Kristen. We were going to like social distance and different cars. We realized that with the timing and Peter having to run these programs at home. Yeah, you know, I, I run these things on the weekend for my team. Yeah. Didn't think about that when we were planning for the drive-in and it I being far. I didn't tell Peter how late it was. Yeah. That was the issue. Um, and so like we had like fun plans for this Friday. But I just cracked us both open Pepsis, so. He was having issues with pretzels that you were eating. So yeah, so don't get hard on yourself because I'm trying not to be hard on myself. But uh, definitely not the beginning, the start to the weekend I thought we were going to have. So now I'm back to working. It's not even fun right now. <laughs> He's being super sweet. We just bought a movie on Apple TV. Called oh, Peanut Butter Falcon. I don't know. Sarah said she saw it, like she wanted to see it. We were. I was trying to convince her to watch either Uncut Gems, Really the Way Back, or <laughs> The Invisible Man. The Invisible Man. Those were the three movies that I've been Jones in the Sea. And then she said, "But I kind of wanted to see Peanut Butter Falcon." So we watched the trailer, and I'm convinced she never actually saw the trailer. <laughs> I just knew about the movie. And I've heard it got really good reviews. So. And it's Shia LaBeouf. So we got it on Apple TV. It was on sale, seven ninety nine. So we're gonna watch it. And if it's good, maybe you get it on Apple TV. I want pizza and ice cream. I told Sarah the only place that has ice cream potentially it's open right now because it's ten thirty is seven eleven. I'd go. They have candy there. They do. We could all get in the car together. 
Car? Hey. Wanna go in the car? Well, now we have to because she's perplexed. Car? Go outside? Evie, do you want to go in the car? <laughs> <laughs> we went ahead and did it now. We couldn't find ice cream. And now we're trying to find food. Lazy Moon. I go to one of our go-to pizza places. It says it was open, but it's really not. They were crabby. Now I'm crabby. We're gonna find food to combat combat the crabbiness. We're redeeming ourselves <laughs> with the most typical teenage late night option: McDonald's. Yes, Girl. At the risk of sounding. First world problem. <laughs> this was how much my fries were filled up. And I'm really sad about it because I got a large Peter on a medium. You got the same amount of fries. <laughs> <laughs> so I say that knowing how. I don't know, what's the word? Things happen sometimes. They might have been busy, they might have been low. This was fries. a 45 minute tobacco of not knowing what to get, going to get pizza, not having any ice cream. But you got mamas? I did. I think the word I was looking for was entitled because all of those workers at McDonald's have to go to work during this crazy time. And here I am being able to be at home being able to hop in the car at 10 whatever at night and get my french fries. Um, so I both feel disappointed that I don't get all the french fries, but I also feel like grateful, grateful and I should just be happy. <laughs> okay, that was not what I expected at all, but really? it was... It was really good. I think they showed too much in the trailer. Oh, you think they did? There was a lot in the trailer. And the only parts they really didn't show were all like the high suspense scary parts. It was really, really good. good. I'd watch it again. Yeah. Good thing we bought well, it. We bought it. I like the song. When I let you, couldn't let you. What makes a home? In the 15th of May, in the jungle of Newell, in the heat of the day, in the cool of the pool. Comment below if you know what that's from. You have a gift that only you can give the world. That's the whole reason you're on the planet. Oprah Winfrey, fellow Chicagoan. I don't know her whole life story, but I'm I trying do. To get her but I do know she filmed her show in Chicago. Back on the kick of wanting to get my Chicago tattoo soon. We just watched this promotional Chicago Marathon video and... It got there in the fields. Got me seriously in the fields. I looked up Ascension Tattoo Parlor on Mills Avenue in Winter Park. Looks like a legit place, but if you know anybody in the Orlando area that's a tattoo artist... People have messaged us. I gotta go back and see. Like, maybe I can search tattoo. But like, a lot of places are opening back up and it's by appointment. Like, this Ascension is... You couldn't come, it'd be by appointment. Just show up, they'll set up, then I'll come in. And I they're clean. Us mask, me mask, they mask. Alrighty friends, it's so late we're not gonna even tell you. But we'll only be getting, uh, I'll only be getting a few hours of sleep because I have to get up and finish that work thing. Oh bother. It's good, it's to, be good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.